Hey everybody, I want to talk to you quickly about a disturbing story. Jameek, also known as Mickey Lowry of Patterson, New Jersey. Jameek, over the weekend, had called the police several times. He was trying to get some help. He had taken ecstasy, allegedly, and was extremely paranoid. He ends up in the hospital and is treated and released within 22 minutes. He gets back out, he calls the police again. He finally ends up in the vicinity of the police, and while in the vicinity, he goes on Facebook Live. He's saying in this video that he's terrified, that they're going to kill him, that somebody's trying to kill him. Then he says he knows the police are going to kill him. Then he says that the ambulance, if he dies, he died in the ambulance, is what he's saying. He says, if I die, you know that they did it. They did this. They're going to kill me. They want to hurt me. He's terrified. He's foaming at the mouth. He has no shoes on because he was at the hospital and they released him so quickly. Okay, so all of this is happening. He asks for some water and the police tell him the paramedics will give him some and the paramedics tell him the hospital will give him some and then the phone goes off and we're left, you know, with nothing unless you start to look into the story. And the reason I heard about this story is because there was a clash between the protesters who want answers and the police. Somehow, it takes 5 to 12 minutes to get from where he was to the hospital. They bring him in the ambulance. You can see his face on Facebook Live. Yes, he's foaming at the mouth, but he has no cuts, scars, bruises, nothing. Somehow, this man dies. And you could think drug overdose, possibly, right? Except for the fact that his cheekbone was fractured, his eye socket was crushed, he had bruises, scratches, and blood all over him. Drugs don't do that. Drugs don't have hands. The police report says that physical restraint was used or restraints were used. To what extent? How did this young man die? What happened to him? Because he was no threat from what I could tell. There were two officers. We need more details. What exactly happened to this man? Did he become aggressive and violent and attack the police officers? There's no mention of that. So how did these things happen to him? His family wants answers and they deserve them. Make this story, go find it, use this video, do whatever you need to do. But they need answers. They deserve answers. What happened to Jameek? Don't shoot me. Please don't shoot He said I saw him by the wall. I see you. I see you. Yo, they trying to kill me. He trying to kill me. He right there. Move it there. Walk over there. Walk over there. He trying to kill me. I didn't do shit. They guys trying to shoot me themselves. I'm good. I just powered on it. I'm just paranoid. That's it. I'm not touching nobody. I swear to God, y'all know I'm not like that. Please. Oh, oh sir. No. I see y'all trying to kill me. Why y'all trying to kill me? Why y'all trying to kill me, officer? Y'all trying to kill me because y'all think I told on y'all. What I do? What I do, officer? Yo, but y'all trying to kill me. And I said I need help. I need help go to the hospital. To somebody trying to kill me. I'm here to see. Y'all think y'all trying to kill me. Somebody help me. Somebody help me. I'm about to say, go my what a level Broadway. There's somebody over there trying to kill me. Please don't kill me, officers. Please don't kill me, bro. I love you, bro. I got pissed. I got pissed. Somebody help me. I'm at 111, bro. Somebody call my mom. The cops trying to kill me. They think I'm a witness. They think I'm fucking with the FBI. That's what they think. Y'all yeah, do. Watch out if I'm if I'm dead by the next hour or two.
They did it. I didn't touch them at all. I'm not harmless. I'm about to throw. I don't want to go close by them. All right, man. All right. Can I get some water? Please. They might have it on the ambulance. Yo, they gonna kill me in the ambulance. Can you ride with me? I'm asking you. I'm not gonna. Who gonna ride with me? Oh, the FBI, I don't want to work with them. I didn't ever work with them. They, I didn't want to work with them. I swear to God, I did. Y'all gonna kill me, officer? Huh? I didn't ever. I, did, I turned my back. They asked me if I do. Oh. Relax, alright. Alright. Hold on, help me. I didn't do nothing to nobody, though. I didn't do nothing. I didn't hurt nobody. I wasn't hurting nobody. I swear to God, I wasn't. You want to go to the hospital? Yeah, I need some water. I'm dehydrated. I need some water now. I'm losing. All right, the hospital has water. Can I get a cup of water, please? Please. It's like. It's like my, my, I can't talk. He may have just left. Yeah. Yo, y'all gonna kill me? You're at the hospital? No, no. Yeah. You're at the fire department. He's gonna take it to the hospital. They just kicked me out. They beat me up in the hospital. The ambulance. I mean, all the, um, the security guards in there. Please don't kill me, officer. Right, because all these paperwork that I get from the hospital, none of these don't add up. Everything is different times. How, and then on top of that, how you gonna go to the hospital? I never knew you could go to the hospital at St. Joe's and it takes what? What they say? 23 minutes and you discharge? Never that. If that ever happened, let me know. That's a miracle. I just need to know this. Like, I'm really hurt. I didn't think I could do this, but my son gave me this compliment. Like, Fight for me. And That's I'm Mr. Lowry's I'm mother speaking. All the way. I don't care if everybody feel like I'm doing something wrong by saying I don't want none of them people to take my case, go into all this. I ain't doing nothing wrong. If y'all think I'm doing wrong, sorry. I'm going justice. I need the truth. And I'm not going nowhere till I get the truth. If it takes me 10 years, I'm going to keep on opening this case until I get the truth. Because it don't make no sense. It don't. And if y'all look at that video that he recorded, and he said somebody was look um bit, somebody did. Y'all look at it real good. The shadows. It's the shadows. It's somebody was there. My son was not crazy, not at all. He was crazy for helping these cops, thinking they was gonna help, do what they said they was gonna do. They gave him a choice. No, they ain't give him no choice. Oh. And I had asked him for his phone number so I can stay in touch with him because I was encouraged by our conversation. And he said he didn't have he didn't have a phone. So we want facts. I've been working on this since Saturday when we spoke. When I told it, I've been in constant contact with the prosecutor. And then beyond that, I've canceled appointments Monday, Tuesday, so I could focus on getting not just answers but accurate answers. We want the truth. Everyone wants the truth. You want the truth, and I want the truth as well. I'm sure you have not slept. And that's why I called you this morning, because I've been in contact with Reverend Lagarde, who's handling the funeral arrangements, and told him if there's anything I can do, I will. And I told you that this morning when I called you again. And if there's you anything I can do, I will. I'm pledging to you that I will because I care about you and your family. And the, for the short time that I met Meek, cared about him too. Because I was looking forward to that meeting at City Hall. I would have loved to have a conversation in my office and have him have the opportunity to visit a mayor at City Hall. For some people, that's a big deal. And when he came into that restaurant day, that day, I could tell he wanted to meet me. And he wanted to have an opportunity to talk to somebody who's in a position that could potentially help more people. And he wanted to be helpful as well. So, Ms. King, I want to assure you that we've spent the last four days not just trying to get answers, but accurate answers. And we will get those accurate answers. Thank you. Thank you. Um, would you like to come up? My name is Jamelia Lario. 
I live 162th Ave. I am Jimmy's sister. We just want answers. We want to know what happened. We want to know what happened from him. What happened to him from the complex to the ER. And if you've seen the video and you've seen the picture of him at the hospital, his face was totally different. He, they said he was on drugs. Drugs don't do that to your face. He had a broken cheekbone. He had a, sh a shattered eye socket. socket. He had stitches. He had bruises all over his body. Little bit. He had marks. He had scratches. What was wrong with him? If y'all said that he did, nobody could tell the nurse. Nobody, an EMT, a cop, uh, nobody could tell the nurse. How long was he unresponsive? They left him in the waiting room. When they found him in the way in the hallway of the ER, if they found when they found him, he had no pulse. If he had no pulse and his body was cold, as cold as y'all say it was, why did y'all try to revive him? Why did y'all call the morgue? Why did y'all give us false hope? Why? 32 minutes, for it went from five to seven minutes, him them not having a pulse, to 10 to 15 minutes, now to 30 to 32 minutes. After five to seven minutes, you should never try to revive him. You should never, never. And if you knew he went that long without oxygen, you should have had everything on standby. Dialysis, blood, 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 extra blood. You should have did all that. Why were we not, why were we not able to go in the back at certain, it was too many times for long periods of time that we were not allowed in the back. I had to sneak the, another way around the hospital to get in the back to find an officer in the back after we said we didn't want no officers in his room. That should have never happened. It should have never happened. Never. I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted. My brother, he pleaded, he cried, he begged, and we wasn't there. Nobody was there. They, he, he gave his ass, he gave where he was at. He said, if anything happened to me, the cops killed me. I'm going to be dead in two hours, and the cops did it. They, 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 they knew he was recording. They didn't know that he was on Facebook Live. So I guess... I guess they just thought it was okay. And if you notice at the end of the video, the phone was snatched from his hands. They laughed at him in the video. They thought he was drugged. He said he was on e-pills and everything to get to the hospital because it was a safe haven. I know my brother. I talk to my brother every day. He talks to us every day, all of us. He take time. He got a time when he called all of us. He knew this was going to happen. He told us what was going to happen. He told the world what was going to happen. And initially in two hours, what happened? He died. No one has answers. No one has answers. Why? All we want is answers. All we want is answers. And then, we, we asked him, first of all, whoever the guy Chris is, he came up there under, having us under the pressure that he was the prosecutor. We, the family, we had a little a little altercation in the room because we like, no, he's the, he's the prosecutor. No, he's the prosecutor. He told us he was the prosecutor. Why do you have his phone if he's not? If I had his phone, no one should have took his phone from me. I had his phone. Why, why, why is his phone in, 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 out there um, with you guys for investigation if he wasn't under arrest? Why was he released to the police officers? After the first time he came, why was he, why was he even beat up at the emergency room if he was telling you he need help? 22 minutes? 22 minutes in and out of the hospital? No way, that's a world's record. That's a world's record. No way. No way. You guys are, not you, but that's a, this is a joke. We're not dumb. Mickey, we here. You hear us? Mickey, we here. We ride and you roll to the wheels, fellow. It was our ride to last year. Mickey, we're not going nowhere and it's not going to stop. We're going to get answers. We're going to get justice. Mickey, we're here. How do we go about, how do we go about getting all of this to a different county for everybody? We need different people. We don't need nobody in New Jersey, Pakistan to... The beginning is nobody, nothing should be, nothing, we don't need nothing to be swept under the rug. No, we need a proper investigation. We need a proper investigation. I'm so hurt. You feel my pain. Until you lost a child, then you can feel my pain. Just know that. You'll feel my pain. For the last four days, I've been living in hell. I thought I was in hell all my life until my son, my son, my firstborn, my firstborn. I couldn't wait till he come in the world. 
And I had to see him go out like this. This is some, this is some crazy, crazy nonsense that's going on. You got people on the streets that are supposed to protect and serve us. This is supposed to be a great city of Patterson, man. This is supposed to be a great town. You put these, you put murders on the street. You put murders on the street, man. They murdered our kids before they gave even see a future. They murdered all our kids. Now, if it happened to your kids, we have all kinds of FBI up in this shit, right? Well, excuse my language. Excuse my language. We have FBI up in I want you to treat this like this is your kid. Because I ain't going to never see him again. A picture don't mean nothing, man. I ain't gonna get the feel of what I want from a picture by looking at him on a wall or looking in a frame at him. I can't touch him and grab him and hold him and, and kiss him on his cheek and say, yo, man, I love you. Daddy, love you. I can't do that no more. I gotta give him that last, that last touch when he go, before he go down in that ground. You ever experienced that? Anybody ever experienced that? I don't think so. I never experienced that to, for kids. But now I gotta, I gotta experience this thing. Something I never wanna experience. I ain't never want my, I ain't never wanna bury my kid. I want my kid to bury me. Who wants to bury their kid, man? You? You wanna bury your kid? Any one of y'all wanna bury your kid? But I, I gotta bury my kid. I have to do this. All I'm saying, man, treat this like this was yours. Yeah. I mean, when it came very close to the very, very bitter end, you know, the doctor checked my son and said, there ain't no pulse. He was there all day, up until my son had no pulse and he grabbed his shit and left.